Good morning, Cornerstone. Happy Monday. Uh, for today's inspirational vitamin, I'm going to be making reference to the genealogies, which appear in Matthew chapter 1, uh, verses 1 through 17, and in Luke chapter 3, 23 through 38. I'm continuing reading through Quest 52. Uh, we're on to week two. Uh, is life random is the question we're going to, one of the questions we'll be pondering this week. Uh, but I know what you thought when you said, man, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about the genealogies. And I wanted to start off reading a section from Mark Moore's uh, book here uh, as he started off this chapter. He said, have you ever been bored reading the Bible? You can admit it. You won't get struck by lightning. The genealogies are the worst. Every time I come to the genealogies, I practice speed reading. Does that make me a bad person? I know I'm not alone. So why did God begin the New Testament with the genealogy? And he goes on to tell this story about some of his friends that were Bible translators uh, in Papua New Guinea. And um, they translated the Bible into the dialect of the people they were with. And when the people read the genealogies, they were really, really excited about it. And um, his friends were named Ron and Linda. And um, the people said to them, you mean to tell us these are real stories, they asked? What do you mean, replied Ron and Linda. Jesus had a family history, they said. They said. That means he is a real person. The importance of this seemingly boring list of names struck Ron and Linda and me. The gospel doesn't begin once upon a time. It is about real people with real problems, just like you and me. And um, I was just so uh, encouraged by this chapter. And again, I, I feel the exact same way. Sometimes I, I speed read you know, through the genealogies, but when you really understand the history behind them, their importance to the Jewish people of record keeping and this idea that Jesus needed to be descended from the tribe of Judah to truly be the Messiah. Jesus needed to be a descendant of David in order to, in, term, in human terms, be able to sit on the throne. Uh, Jesus needed to be, you know, a, a, a descended from Abraham, you know? And so it's very, very important. And, and for us in the West here, we often gloss over a lot of these details. I wanna read one other little part from uh, page 12. And it says, um, you know, this part is called Lessons from the Genealogy. And it says, God uses people to accomplish his purposes. God doesn't typically intervene with miracles. He invests in relationships. He walks with each of us to develop us into difference makers. God uses our gifts and successes, but he can also turn our failures into faith. Regardless of your past, God has a plan for your life. And though the jumbled mess of circumstances seems arbitrary, we see the tapestry only from the underside. When we rise to God's perspective, we see his intricate, extraordinary design in the details, all the details of our lives. And so, um, no, I do not believe, you know, the answer to that question is life random. No, it's not. And the, the, the challenge question after day one is, how would you like God to describe your contribution to the story of salvation? This idea that, you know, my name is not written in the pages of scripture, but my name is written in the book of life. I have a part in the, in the lineage of Jesus as a follower of Jesus. I have the, I am, I am a blood brother of Jesus. I'm covered in his blood. I'm, I'm um, brought into God's family and now have holy blood covering me. And so how do I want, you know, my, my, my story to contribute? I don't know. I just want to be remembered as um, a follower of Jesus uh, because I feel like that is the best version of myself, the best husband, the best father, the best uh, evangelist, the best friend, brother, son, et cetera, is the version of me that's a follower of Jesus. And I just want to make an impact for Jesus um, in this world. I, I'm particularly passionate about seeing souls saved, about seeking and saving the lost. And, and I just really hope that God will use me um, to do that very thing. So that's your inspirational vitamin for the day. How do you want God to use your story, uh, use your contributions in the story of salvation? You know, and, and, and is life random? No, it's not. God uses um, again, our successes, our victories, as well as our failures. Um, he turns our mess into a message. He turns our test into a testimony. And so um, be used by God. Follow Jesus and you can be used by God. Um, don't skip over the genealogies. They have a place too. So uh, that's your inspirational vitamin for the day. Hope you have a great, great week. We love you and we'll see you out there.